Altar of Dementia is a super sweet magic card that has quite possibly been around longer than you've been alive. This Tempest Rare allows you to sacrifice a creature to mill cards from the library equal to that creature's power. A busted ability like this was designed to be abused. I mean, look at all the potential combos. Well. So which one did we choose for today's new brew? None other than Malira Silvok Outcast. Malira prevents minus one minus one counters from being placed on creatures, so we can sacrifice any persist creature to the altar and they'll come right back like it never even happened. Where am I? If it's Stinky Finks, we mill and gain infinite life. Murderous Red Cap, infinite damage, and they have no library. How embarrassing. Ha! Now let's say we can't get Malira into play. Ain't no thing, cause we got a backup plan. Tribute to the World Tree, which fills the same role as Malira, and as you're going to see, is the secret MVP of today's deck list. So I ask, can we make the altar work in modern once again? We're about to find out. All right, this is match one, we're on the play. Let's go. Uh, seven looks acceptable, we'll keep this. Start with our turn one colony garden and we'll pass the turn, see what our opponent's up to. Takanuma and back our way. Drawn to a Kitchen Finks. So with Court of Calling, we have infinite life here. Uh, play out the Windswept Teeth, and we're just going to pass it on back. Put him with a Demolition Field into an Expedition Map. So this is Mono Black. Yield to the end step. We're going to fetch Overgrown Tomb. Shock that in. Fire off this Bowmaster. Trigger. Hit them down to 19. And a Fatal Push is going to meet our Bowmaster. Bites the Dust. Drawn to a Forest. Uh, we'll move to Combat and attack in for one. So it's at 18. Play out a land and our kitchen finks. Gain two life, pass the turn. Main phase, opponent cracks the map, finds an herb work. Thank you very much. We'll take that. It's coming back to us. Drone to a blooming marsh. And I think the way we're going to approach this, I don't think our opponent's going to scoop if we can present infinite life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tutor for a red cap, and then I'll follow up with a tutor for Malira on the next turn, and then we'll go for the kill. So we'll play out our basic forest, no attacks, Pass it back. Back their way. Basic Swamp. We could also get a Zula port. That would also do the job. We'll cord for four. And Red Cap is the most resilient option, so that's what we're going to get. Uh, we'll hit them for two. They thought a Yawgmoth was coming down the pipeline. When it hits the Red Cap with a Defile, Persist Trigger, and a Cling to Dust. I knew that was a possibility. So they gain three, and the Red Cap doesn't come back. And they take nothing off the Red Cap. Untap. Drone to a Hierarch. Uh, we'll play that out. Move to Combat. Attack in for four. Opponent's down 17. Blooming Marsh. And we're going to play out this Visser Seer. All right. Seer is in the building. Demolition Field and a Damnation. All right. So we have infinite life here, so to speak. Uh, I'm going to cord for three. And I'm going to get Malira and I'm going to set up the top of my library. Because of the way the Magic Online client is built, there is no real way to auto loop an infinite combo such as this, meaning there is no true way to go infinite. But when playing in person, all you have to do is demonstrate a loop, and that's good enough. It doesn't matter regardless, because my opponent was not playing around. They kill my Viscerous here before I had the opportunity to waste both our time, and then the damnation resolved, and the game was essentially over. Let's move on. Okay, we're going to bring in Might, Gris, Necromentia, and Thoughtseize. We're going to pull Endurance, Finx, two Hierarchs, and two Altars, because they have Karn. Take the play. Uh, hand looks good, we'll keep it. Game two, I was fortunate enough to win with good old fashioned beatdown. Literally just attack them dead by turn five. It's not particularly exciting, so we're gonna skip right ahead to game three and our first combo kill. Opponents on a mulligan to six. Unfortunately, the triple court of calling hand, not very good. We'll mulligan as well. All right, six has our combo, we'll keep it. And we're gonna get rid of the basic. Opponents on a mulligan to five. Basic swamp into a map. Drawn to a thought seize, not terrible. Uh, we'll start with our Yavamaya into our Hierarch. Herb work, activate the map, and get the coffers. Uh, Bowmaster, not a bad draw. Uh, I think we'll fire off this thought so see what they're working with. Damnation, invoke despair, and double coffers in hand. Uh, I think we're gonna get rid of Damnation, and we'll play out Burden Catacombs and pass turn back. First coffers into play. In a turn, flash in our Bowmaster, we'll hit them down to 19. Untap. Draw to a peat land, play that out, and we need them not to have another Damnation. I think we're going to start with combat. Tank for one. Trigger the Hierarch. Opponent's down 17. Uh, play out Malira. And I'm going to hold this Viscera Seer. Back their way. Okay, second coffers. We knew about that. We have a total of six mana available. Add four. Two more. Okay, Invoke Despair. We knew about that. Sacrifice the Orc Army. It's going to trigger Bowmasters. Hit them for two. 
Clink to Dust targeting our Thoughtseize. Bowmasters will hit them for another one. They're at 14. Back our way. Four cards in hand. Drone to a Halfling. Play that out. Play out our Viscera Seer. Cord for four. Let's get the red cap. And the opponent scoops. Writing's on the wall. We're 1-0. All right, we're off to a good start. Uh, seven, two-thirds of the way there. Uh, we'll keep this. Opponent's on a mulligan to six. Start with the Marsh Flats. And they do nothing with it. Uh, we drone to a Verdant Catacombs. We're going to play out our Garden turn one. Giving people Yawgmoth vibes. Not what's going on here, though. They fetch end of turn. Watery Grave. Opponent's considering their move. They tap for a black. Stalactolite Stalker. Play out a fetch land. Fetch. What are your grave? Tapped. They're going to have a 2 2. All right, we draw another land. We're good on lands at this point. And we'll play out our Pendlehaven uh, into our Safe Hold Elite. Safe Hold Elite. Not so elite, but that's okay. No attacks back their way. They have four cards in hand. What are your grave? Shock it out. Moving to combat, swing for two. They're representing a Tide Binder. Uh, we're just going to take this. This is fine. Okay. They do nothing else. We draw into a Bowmasters, which is solid. Uh, we'll play out our Verdant Catacombs, and we'll just pass turn back. I lied. We'll attack first. Opponent's down to 14 life. The opponent with a Sauron's Ransom. Uh, I'm going to respond to this with a Fetch right here and now. And we're going to get a basic Swamp, and we'll let this happen. Face up pile and a face down pile. I think we give them the option of double Thoughtseize or Voidwalker Catacombs. Okay, and they take the Voidwalker pile. Verdant Catacombs. Combat. Attack for two. Uh, before blocks, we'll flash in a Bowmaster. Trigger. Target Stalker. This might be a Tide Binder coming down. It's a Bowmaster of their own. Okay. Not sure where they're going with this one. Okay, they Bowmaster the plant token. Sure. Hit the Stalker. Suppose they might have another Bowmaster in hand. Uh, move to blocks. We'll double block like so. Uh, before damage, pump our Bowmaster. Damage. Stalker's dead. One with a the Grief. They discard the Voidwalker. We're happy to see it. Now they're going to be priced into taking the Endurance first and foremost here. I suppose they could take the Finx too, because we'll be lacking a green card. Okay, take the Endurance. Undying Malice, they have one card left in hand. Grief's coming back, 4-3. And they take the Altar. They're on to us. It's funny, back when Scam had Fury, they would have scoffed at our board state and burnt it all to the ground. But now, what we have in play actually wound up being more than they could handle. And they scooped it up. But I will say, game two had shades of the ghost of Scam's past, as we kept a one lander on a molt of five and got double griefed on turn one. Needless to say, our three card hand didn't have the resources necessary to win the game. Let me show you a more interactive and interesting game three. Take the play. Uh, seven. Seven looks fine, we'll keep it. It functions. Fun with a ley line to start. Start on a viscera seer. Fun with the verdant catacombs. It's coming back our way. Don't do a cutthroat. Not great. Uh, we'll move to combat. Attack in for one. Fun set 19. We'll play out the cutthroat. I'm not going to trigger with this ley line in play. They fetch end of turn. Down to 18 life. Watery grave. Basic island. Two mana. They're flashing out a bowmaster now. I'm not sure why they're doing it now, but that's fine. Uh, they're targeting the viscera seer. And we're going to sacrifice the seer to its own ability so they don't get the trigger. We'll scry one. And we see a Malira. So close, yet so far. Hello darkness, my old friend. Uh, I think we'll put Malira on the bottom for now. We need to get rid of that ley line first. Just kidding, just kidding. Back our way, drawn to a Thoughtseize. Could be useful. Uh, we'll start with the Windswept Teeth. Move to combat, we'll attack in for one. If they want to trade, we're fine with that. No trade, no deal. They draw up to six cards in hand. They start with combat. I know I could flash in the Endurance right now, I think they probably have an Undying spell, so I'm going to hold off on that. Watery Grave, shock it out, and do a Voidwalker. I'm going to fetch shock, end of turn. Play out our Endurance, and we'll shuffle a land back in their library. Untap. Draw into a Marsh. Really would love to be able to double spell. Hit them for four. We're going to use our mana efficiently. Let's play out the Finx. Trigger. Gain two. Marsh. Pass turn back. Tank for three. We're going down to 15 life. And they do nothing else. Draw another Endurance, which is actually really good. So we're going to get some information before we do anything. Let's start with Thoughtseize. They flash in a subtlety, and if their plan is to return that into play, I think we're going to get them here. They discarded a Drown in the Lock. It's a little bit of a Nambo with the Ley Line. Undying Malice. Subtlety is not going to have any targets. Goes to the Graveyard. Endurance. Runs paying costs. And they Fatal Push the other Endurance in response. Endurance into play. We'll shuffle their Graveyard. Subtlety is not coming back. You see a land in hand. Move to combat. 
We're gonna crack in for three. Void Walker swings, we're going down to 10 life. But it plays out the land tapped. Nothing else back our way. Bowmasters is pretty good. So I've got two options here. I can Bowmaster, hit down their Bowmaster, and just attack with the team, and then red cap the Void Walker. I think I like that better. So we'll start with an attack, bring the team. Two mana, they flash in a Bowmaster. It's going to trigger. They target the Finx. Block the Finx and the Cutthroat. Oh, uh, we'll flash in our Bowmaster. Let me scoop it up. We're two and out. All right, we're back. Match three. Opening seven on the draw. We're short on lands. Have our combo if we can find another land. I'm going to be risky. I'm going to keep it. Let's see how this goes. Steam Vents, Shock, and a Ragavan. Might not be the matchup to keep a risky seven. And it sure wasn't. Ragavan completely took over the first half of the game until I got lucky and top decked a Bowmaster to remove it. But unfortunately, I was just way too far behind at that point to recoup my losses. This feels like a matchup where Tribute to the World Tree, or as I like to call it, Earth Day, would really shine. So let's see what it can do in game two. Uh, we'll take the play this game. Gladly take the play. Seven's a little slow, but I think we're going to keep it. When it keeps their seven, start Pendlehaven past turn. Spire Bluff, Bobble, Bobble. Similar start to last game. Look at our top card, and we'll draw a card. We draw into a tribute. Uh, so we have our combo. We look at our top card again. You have a Maya. Question is, can we stick the whole combo? Play out an altar. I think they're confused by this one. And they have a spell snare. Draw off the bobble and an island. Back our way. Draw a verdant catacombs. Uh, let's play that. And we're just gonna pass it back. Third land, Misty Rainforest. They fetch. Down in 19. Steam Vents, Shock, and a Preordain. Uh, one top, one bottom. In turn, we're gonna flash an Endurance. And they're gonna counter that. That is what I expected. The real prize here is the tribute. Drone to an overgrown tomb. I'll uh, play out the peatland. Three mana, play out the tribute, and it sticks. So now we have a 3 3 Dryad Arbor on demand. Open with six cards in hand, play out a land. This is going to be a Murktide Regent. Okay, comes into play, and they have a 6 6. Two mana, unlicensed first. That one's annoying. Untap, drone to a Hierarch. It's not bad. Uh, we're going to take a point of damage here, and we're going to start with this Woe Strider. Comes into play, two triggers. Woe Strider is going to make a goat. Goat's going to get pumped to a 2-3. Tribute's going to trigger. We draw into a Court of Calling, which is excellent. Uh, we'll shock in our Tomb. Play out a Hierarch. Comes into play. Tribute's going to trigger. It's going to be a 2-3. When it eats two cards, end of turn. Alter and an Endurance. Two mana for an Iteration. Get a Bobble. Play out the Bobble. Combat. Tag for six. We're going down to 11 life. Bobble, look at our top card. Uh, end of turn, I'm going to fetch. We get our Dryad Arbor. Trigger. It's a 3-3. Uh, they draw off the bobble. We draw for turns. Find a bowmaster. Bowmaster is good. Uh, we're going to start with an attack for five. Probably should have attacked with one more. That was a mistake. Uh, I'm going to flash in this bowmaster now. Okay. Dress down. Uh, sure. Still going to get the trigger off the tribute. And one, two, three. Cast out the Finx. We'll get the tribute there as well. Oh, wow. Wow. Opponents eating a card with our with their hearse. Dress down's going away. And now we're going to sacrifice the Finx. Persist, trigger, trigger the tribute. We'll gain two. Finx is going to get two counters. We'll scry one. Uh, cord, we'll just keep that on top. We're going to do that again. So this is a loop. And our opponent realizes it. It scoops it up. Going to game three. All right. Game three, our seven looks pretty good. We'll keep this. All right. Opponent's on the play. Inspire Bluff Canal into a Preordain. Opponent puts one top, one bottom. Uh, we draw into a Bowmasters, which is excellent. We'll start with our garden. Pass turn. Scalding Tarn, Bobble. They look at their top card. Another Bobble. Get them out of your hand now while you can. Look at our top card. And they're going to draw two during the upkeep. One, they'll fetch. Basic Island, and two. We draw into our Pendlehaven. We'll play out our Burden. No attacks, pass it back. Opponent does nothing. Fiery Islet, and a Ragvan. Followed up with a Dragon's Rage. Three card types in the graveyard. It's possible I was supposed to cast out the Bowmaster with the Dragon's Rage on this stack. I think that's likely the case. Uh, we're gonna fetch here, get a Swamp. I think our opponent knows we have a Bowmaster. This is likely a Spell Snare coming down. Yep, there it is. Trigger the Dragon's Rage. So I should have done this in response. This was an, an error on my part. They keep a card on top, and Bowmaster is gone. With them tapped out, I'm able to resolve my Woe Strider on the next turn, which gives me a Goat Chump Blocker for Ragvan, despite my Dub Strider getting bolted down. I continue to take hits from the Dragon's Rage over the next few turns, and my attempt at sniping down the Ragavan gets thwarted by a Tanasha's Tidebinder. 
With the exception of the DRC chipping in turn after turn, things are pretty clogged up on the ground, as you can see. But things come to a head when I top deck a second Bowmaster, which I hold on to for the opportune moment. Back there when I attack for three, going down three life. If they have lightning bolts, we could just die. Uh, they fire off a preordain. I'm going to respond to that. They might be baiting me, but we're going to take the bait. Bowmaster trigger. I'm going to target my Haywire Might. I'm up to five life. Preordain triggers. Hit them down to ten. Pass turn back our way. Windswept Teeth lets me bring my Woe Strider back again. Uh, I think we're just moving to combat. Attacking with the team. Okay, opponent moves to blocks. Blocks the Halfling uh, before damage. Uh, we're going to pump the Bowmaster. They're down to three life. And now the question is... If they have a counter spell, do I bring back this Woe Strider or not? I think it's likely they have counter magic. So I'm going to play out this Windswept Teeth, and I'm just going to pass it back. I'm not going to give them the opportunity to cast counter magic. They untap. Draw up to five cards. Expressive Iteration. This is a crazy game. Brazen Borrower to the graveyard. All right. An opponent doesn't have it. Looks like we're winning the game. They have wished us GG's. We're three and out. So once again, my strong start is overshadowed by my inability to close out leagues, as we got dumpstered in the last two matches by other black-green decks that seemed to have game plans that were a little less forced than ours. So the list you're looking at here was the culmination of about three days worth of testing. I tried to make Alter Dementia work over and over and over again, but in a format where tempo is king, playing a two-drop that doesn't do anything is just not good enough. The surprise MVP of this deck was tribute to the World Tree, which had a very powerful effect and could be built around in the future. Oh, and Body Launderer's Poop. Don't play it. Thank you for tuning in today. I will see you all again very soon. Until then, you know the deal. Be well, my friends. <laughs>